Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Well this Monday morning. It's the start of another new week and we are on to Psalm 39. Psalm 39 is another Psalm of David and it really deals with the issue, human issue of pain, of deep emotional pain and perspective. So I'm going to start at the beginning, go through a few of the verses from the Passion Translation. Hear my life motto and the truth I live by. I will guard my ways all the days of my life. I will speak only what is right, guarding what I speak. I will remain silent and will not grumble or speak out of my disappointment. But the longer I'm silent, my pain grows worse. I think we can all relate to that. He says, my heart burned with a fire within me. And my thoughts eventually boiled over until they finally came rolling out of my mouth. Lord, help me to know how fleeting my time on earth is. Help me to know how limited is my life and that I'm here for only but a moment more. I love that in the depths of anguish and pain, that the question that comes out of his mouth is not why, but asking for that perspective, asking for perspective that how long am I here? I'm only here a brief moment. In fact, our life is just a snapshot. He goes on to say, compared to you, my lifetime is nothing at all, nothing but a puff of air. And yet in that lifetime, there is significance. The significance that David had in his life and how much in our lives, the significance of our lifetime. Pain is real. Anguish is real. And there's times we need to sit in it But then what are we going to do with it? What are we going to do like the psalmist who comes before him and pleads with God of just give me perspective. Give me perspective on what time I've got here. You know, he says that we can be in our activities and energy spent. We gather, we hoard, we cling to things only to leave them behind. And now, God, I'm left with only one conclusion. My hope is to hope in you alone. If we can come to that conclusion, then we're on to something. Then we can have hope because our hope in him is good hope. You know, it says later in the Psalms, in Psalm 51, verse 17. My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. We can take comfort that the Bible is very clear that God draws near to the broken. And so When we are broken in heart and broken in spirit, we can expect God to be near us. And so we can have hope. Hope not only that he's walking close to us, but hope in restoration. Hope that he will use our lives. That even the the ashes, what may be around us, can actually become beauty. This psalm ends with, Lord, listen to all my tender cries. Read my every tear like liquid words. That plea for help, I feel all alone at times, like a stranger to you, passing through this life, just like those before me. We can feel that, but we know that is just a feeling. He says, don't let me die without restoring joy and gladness to my soul. May you frown over my failure, become a smile over my success. Let's know today that Wherever we're at, whatever we're going through or we've gone through, that actually what may have felt like failure can become a smile of success. That he's pleased with you, that if we truly grant our hope in him, then we will not be disappointed because his hope is life. And as we learn dependency in his hope, then we will know the kind touch of our saviour who loves us. Bless you today.